After reviewing the webpage, however, I mean, there's there's a lot to unpack with it. Right, there's a lot of things that NASA could technically have done differently. Um, I mean, some of the main concerns raised by engineers, um, including um, Roger, who has a major part in this program, and, um, were the O-rings, the vulnerability of the O-rings and such that was involved with the cold temperatures. Um, apparently there was some, some difficulty in the communication about that and the feeling that some of the NASA operatives should have had more information off on those. Um, so communication, obviously another thing that broke down in that tragedy that occurred, um, being that communication was such a big issue, obviously, um, when just looking at the risk assessment of the entire projects, um, the decision-making process overall should have involved more of a comprehensive risk assessment weighing potential consequences of, I mean, the launch under prevailing weather conditions and just all the things on the exterior source that would have affected what happened to happen, right? Um, another point of that is just the independent oversight, right? There's, I wrote something down about it, about this, there should have been an independent oversight body or process to review critical decisions. I mean, overall, for Roger, I mean, I don't really know if there's anything he could have done differently outside of just being more aware of the legal things that are, that are at risk with the project that they were doing. Maybe if he was more aware of that or consulted about those things in in depth, just so that he understands, especially with a family and such to provide for. And after a tragedy like that, jobs are definitely a slim thing for him to be able to obtain. Um, so, I mean, I was just looking through it and I, I don't know necessarily if there's anything that he could have done differently. I mean, he could have explored like reporting mechanisms um, to bring attention to safety concerns just to minimize his personal risk and such. But as a whole, I don't have much to say on that um, for the future and in other engineering situations. Um, a few points that I made was one was ethical decision-making, right? I think it's important to prioritize um, decision-making in an ethical way that can ensure that, in particular to me, as if I was in the engineering position, um, that they're gonna align Right, my actions are going to align with honesty and integrity and, of course, public safety. Um, the communication is going to be open with all those that I work with and all that are involved in the, pro in the process itself. Um, continuous learning, I think, is very important as well. Just staying informed about these guidelines and the practices within engineering professions, um, as well as just being able to enhance my ability to handle these situations and guide the projects in the way that's going to be best suited so all the possible outcomes are taken care of and um, all the possible outcomes are accounted for, just so that when things do go wrong or if things are going to go wrong, which is something I always need to be prepared for, that we have a fallback or better situations for ourselves and fallback for my personal life as well, um, as obviously Roger was hit hard with. Um, but biggest point of, of all that comes down to, we do the things that we do so that everybody in the process is safe and so something like this doesn't happen again. Um, so that tragedies like this are able to be, I mean, they will be avoided. Um, so overall, that's what I would say. Um,